Hello, my name is Abe the Mudukin, and I've created here a sequential code door lock, which means that I have to put the code in the correct order for the door to open. Now, I first saw a video like this from a guy called Scroll Dumbable, and he had a really good layout, and it worked well except for one major flaw, which was you could input as many numbers as you wanted before the door would open or until the door would open, which meant that you could just press all five buttons five times and you don't even have to know the code and the door would open. Now, I thought of multiple ways to correct that, but the one that I thought that would best suit this would be a, a reset option that automatically resets the system after every five buttons that are input. So, for simplicity's sake, I made the code 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But right now, I'll just put in five random buttons. You see that the lights light up on top, the torches, I mean, because I have those wired so that you know how many you've input so far, how many you have left. So, I've now put in three. I have two choices left. And because that's the wrong code, the door doesn't open and the torch is reset. So now I have to start over. Now you'll see that when the door does open, the torch is still reset, and I'll get to that later. But now I can manually reset it all with this switch right here. And there's my rail track. We are up high in the air. So if we walk over here, we can see uh, Scrodomable's uh, first layout. And all of these are just RS NOR latches. I have five of them hooked up to each other so that the output of the next one depends on the input of the first one and the one before it and so on. And that's what makes it sequential door lock. It's because all five have to be put in the right order, or else the next RS NOR latch won't input the data. It'll just stay off instead of turn on. After the fifth RS NOR latch is on, it sends a signal over here, which sends a signal to the door. Now, to combat the one major flaw that I noticed, I had to make some memory so that the system remembered uh, how many buttons had been pressed. To do that, also to make it so that any five buttons to be pressed had to be pressed. And to do that, I made a secondary current go up here. All five of them converge in a giant or a gate, so no matter what button is pressed, it'll send a current to the first memory cell. Once that first memory cell is uh, put on, then the current can travel to the second memory cell. But because in a button is held down for about a second, I couldn't just have it go directly to the next one because then all five memory cells would be turned on right away in the duration of one button. And so I have to build these timers over here. This is a, a 12 redstone uh, torch timer, which is about 1.1 seconds. And right here is an AND gate. And so, after this is turned on, it sends a signal all the way down here, turns that off. At the same time, this signal will be on, turning that off. But by the time that that is off, so that the AND gate would work and send the signal on, that turns on. Because of the duration of one second and the delay being 1.1 seconds. So that took care of that. And that's what really most of this space is, is the delay. The actual memory cells don't take up too much space. So here's memory cell 2, 3, 4, and 5. They all do the same exact thing, except for 5, which sends a signal down and back to the reset option. And resets the whole system after 5 inputs. Now right here, and uh, right over there, those are resets so that the memory cells up here are reset after all five uh, inputs, no matter what. 
That way the system resets itself for the next five inputs and I don't have to manually do it. Now the last thing I'm going to show is this right here. It's a AND gate between the current from the fifth memory cell and the output of the last RS NOR latch. So when the gate is, uh, or not the gate, when the door is open, because all five RS NOR latches are on, then that blocks a signal being sent from the last memory cell to the reset. And that's why the door stays open, but all the lights reset. Otherwise, the system would reset immediately after putting in the correct code, and there would be no time to get through the door. And once you actually get through the door, you can manually reset it through here. So that's my video. It's not a tutorial or anything. It's just uh, showing how I fixed Scrodumable's video. Not exactly fixed, but built upon his sequential door lock. But yeah, I hope you like it, and uh, feedback will be appreciated.